Today I'm with Jesse Skate, one of our Dynamics consultants, who's going to tell me all about an exciting new feature that Microsoft have produced for the Dynamics 365 called Recommendations. So Jess, let me know. Okay. Um, well, as you know, data is a really important strategic asset for any organisation, but the real value is being able to take that data, analyse it, and then use it to form really sound strategic insights that you then use to basically drive your business forwards. But the data you get out of any system is only ever going to be as good as the data that gets put into the system. Absolutely. And Microsoft recognised this quite early on and they introduced something called business rules, which allows you to ensure that data is captured in a consistent manner. Um, so the types of rules you can set up at the moment and that a lot of people that are familiar with Dynamics 365 will know about is things like showing and hiding fields on a form, making certain fields mandatory so they've got to be completed, um, filling in data automatically on the form so users haven't even got to worry about doing it themselves. Um, it might be things like locking a certain field on the form so the data can't be tampered with if it forms part of someone's KPI report or anything like that. Um, and also validating and showing error messages, so if someone's trying to do something that they shouldn't be, then you can get an error message. So it constrains them? Yes. But they've got this fantastic new little feature that they've introduced with the latest release of Dynamics 365 called Recommendations. Um, and that allows you to basically provide users with tailored recommendations when they're actually using the system. Now I love this as a new little feature because not only does it help to ensure that you're getting good quality consistent data going into the system i think it can have a really big impact and influence the overall customer experience as well sounds interesting okay tell me more want to have a look please yes okay so i'm going to navigate to leads and we'll open this lead here so we're in dynamics 365 here we it's are, not yes. a feature in CRM 2016. No, this is just newly released in Dynamics 365. Okay. okay, so if we scroll down to this further information section here, and you see we've got lead source. So I'm going to go ahead and put incoming phone call. And you'll see here now, see this little blue information? Yes, yes. Just mm -hmm. appeared when you yep. chose the drop down. So here, I've got a recommendation that I've been presented with saying that the company policy is to set the lead rating to hot if the lead source is from an incoming phone call. So straight away, I'm, I'm being guided as yes. to what I should be doing or how I should be rating this lead. Now, I can go one step further here, and if I select apply, just come out of that, it automatically sets the lead rating to hot for me then. So it's telling you what it suggests should happen, yep. and you, assuming you agree, you just say yes, and it puts that answer in for you. Yes. So there's no room for error, and you're guided very, very helpfully, but you're not forced. You're not forced, no. But with things like lead rating as well, the minute I know that that's, you know, it's an incoming phone call, I consider that a hot lead because somebody's actively inquiring about yes. our services. So we want to make sure that those are picked up quickly and acted on quickly. So little sort of tailored no, messages like that really can help and make a big difference. It, it's a nice touch and it's a friendly way of making sure I know how I should handle that particular field. Yeah. So that's quite a basic use of recommendations. So if we want to get a bit meatier, yes, go into the definitely. customer experience a bit more, um, I will navigate to customer service. So does it mean it can be applied to any field? It can, yes. Any field that you create um, within Dynamics 365, you can apply recommendation to. So the scope to, throughout your whole system, really guide new users by applying this to as many fields as you see yeah. necessary to support them on their development. I mean, what I love about this is you have something else in Dynamics 365 called a business process flow, which allows you to kind of put your whole process into the system and guide people through to, you know, the sort of satisfactory outcome that you want, really. You've then got business rules, which then help you get the consistent data capture. Now with recommendations, it's almost like you can put your own policies into the system. So you've got processes and policies inbuilt into your own system. Okay. So it's... It's adding a little bit extra into what was already there, but yeah. just rounding it off quite nicely. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at cases then. So let's navigate to our case. So these are really important because they, this is where we got to handle a customer situation quickly and to give them satisfaction or we lose the customer. And it's quite often it is a negative situation that you're in. So the quicker you can resolve it, um, the happier that customer is going to be. 
generally that actually makes them more loyal to your business if you've resolved it quickly and you've got their best interests at heart. Right. So I'm going to navigate to this case here called Delivery Issue. Okay. And so down here on the screen we've got this section called Resolution. So in our actual problem, I'm going to select that it was a delivery issue. And again, we've got the little blue information icon. So I'm presented with a recommended resolution for this particular case, which says for any delivery or internal administration error, please offer the customer a goodwill gesture of up to 250 pounds. So again, I click apply. And that's automatically filled in my resolution as a goodwill gesture. So I'm not only being guided on the best way to resolve it, but I'm also being kind of pre-authorised on the action that they want me to take. Yes, I mean, have to ask somebody. Yeah, and what I love is that really is empowering the people, you know, at the cold face to own that customer experience, to make that customer happy and to keep that customer coming back time and time again. Absolutely, because this way there's no, I'm not pausing to get the authorisation. Yeah. It's been agreed because it's there as a resolution, a recommendation, and I can just apply it. Yeah. But I still don't have to, if, it, if I want to do something differently, I've got the freedom to refer it elsewhere. Exactly, you have, yeah. This should make things go much, much more smoothly for those new yeah. users and also experienced users, just to be reassured of the steps they're taking. But it also reassures senior management and key stakeholders in the business as well that you know people are still working to certain parameters. So not only are employees doing, you know, what's best for the customers, they're working in the best interest of the company as well. Yes, so if we're being consistent and offering the same goodwill gesture to each customer rather than it varying yeah. on a, a person's choice. That's really good. If we just go and open up so, a different one, so I'm just going to go into this one called product issue here. And this just is going to demonstrate the flexibility really. So if I select product issue, again, We've got our little blue information icon. So you can see now I'm presented with a different resolution, which is saying that for any confirmed product issue, please offer the customer a straight replacement at no charge. So you can tailor the messages based on the options people are selecting as well. I see. So if we apply that. And I can see my resolution is that we replace the product. Excellent. But if I'd chosen a different one to product issue, I'd have a different set of possible res uh, possible recommendations. Yes. That's really clever. It is. And I think it can be a game changer in terms of customer experience because you're very, very quickly presenting somebody with a solution that they can go and offer straight away. Well, yes, because it's going to make myself as a user feel empowered, but efficient and really effective in just resolving it quickly. So there you have it. That's the power of business recommendations in Dynamics 365. I like it. Does it mean that then only, if, um, say, a small number of super users could go through and set these up ready to then guide the other users? Yes, it's really, really simple to set up business rules and we've actually got another YouTube how-to video um, to show you how to go and set up business rules and business recommendations is included in that series of videos. So if you want to know more, then you do go and check that video out. I will definitely go and watch that. Great, thank you. Thank you for your time. No problem.